Hey guys. So today I did a tutorial on how to look like really pretty and just like in general how to like do makeup right because these days people just people are just too safe with their makeup. And I was kind of going for Cara Delevingne, a little bit of Kim Kardashian, a little bit of just like looking like a model like with those chiseled cheekbones and jawline. Just joking, obviously. Obviously, as you can tell, this ain't a serious video. It is just a fun video, and it's called My Makeup Pet Peeves. This is put into one face of all my pet peeves on makeup and how people generally do their makeup. So, here we go. I want to just apologize for noise as well because my family is noisy and you can hear from up the neighborhood pretty much. So what you want to do first is apply the most orangest or darkest shade of foundation you have. Very thickly too because we gotta hide our imperfections. Okay. Oh just get all of the eye area too. Okay. Getting some work. Okay, let's keep adding to the canvas. Okay, that is the foundation. Now we're going to do our eyes, and what I'm really going for is like this go full sparkle, like that is my thing right now. Mm. Immense glitter into my eyeballs. Just going to add like the sparkly shade I have. Just get it on there so it looks good. And you can even go like just a bit above the crease because, you know, it looks pretty good, right? So I just keep adding to the dimensions of the sparkles and even like on your nose bridge there, it looks pretty good. This is looking so good. You know what, since it's so sparkly, I'm going to use this as like a brow highlight. So I'm going to put that. Just look like super, super glamorous. Done. Now I'm gonna go on with the brightest shade in my eyeshadow collection. I'm gonna use this like really vivid blue. Get as much as you can on the brush because you really want it packed on there. So just like move it in just over the lid or even like just above the crease. It doesn't matter either. It just doesn't. So you know that brow highlight standing out a bit more? That's what I really wanted. This is how you want to do your makeup, girls. If there's any fallout, just leave it there. Like, what is it? So just keep packing that on there. Even at, like, put a shadow so it, like, transitions onto the brow bone. Because that's what we want, girls. Okay, we're done. Moving on to some eyeliner. Now, I really want my eyes to pop, so I'm just going to put, like, pack them on there. Just make it really thick and just like not do a wing or anything, so just like go along. See how perfect it looks. And then like I'm gonna like bring it down to my bottom lash line, like really thickly. Like that because it makes my eyes look really like like a raccoon and their eyes are huge, so I want eyes like that. I'm just gonna put it in my waterline too. Oh yeah, hot stuff right here. Oh, see, I can never do this in the other eye. I'm just gonna keep going with it though. That looks different, so I'm just gonna do more of this side now. Remember just to bring it down really thickly on the lash line and in the waterline. And for mascara, we're just gonna skip the curling business because who has time for that? Just gonna go straight into it. Make it look curly by packing heaps so on, like just go full ball with it. Like just do that. Okay. And even use the tip of the brush to get more product. And even poke yourself in the eye right now, like I've got some black stuff in my eye right now. Just keep like doing that and Okay, so it's buttery. I mean, look at it. It's 
I didn't even need false eyelashes. If you need to like get in your eyelid, you just leave it because it would just blend into like the whole eyeshadow and that. Like even you have to do that to the bottom lashes too, so just go like go. Yeah. Now we're gonna move on to the brows and I really want to like Cara Delevingne these kind of brows. Like really thick and dark. Let's just like brush through them right now. Just spark them off a bit too because it makes them look more bushier. And then we can just like fill in the bushes. So get like probably like the darkest or like closest matching to your eyebrow colour. And just like go for it. It's okay to be different. Oh, just brush it down and make it look more angular. Colour it in like a colouring book. Oh, so you can do that, you can swap. Cry Love and Here I Come. Here's my special trick. Just drag it down so you get like a longer tail. That's what I, that's what I like. Okay, so that's the eyebrows done. Now we're moving on to bronzer. Um, you know, I like to use one that's a little bit orange, a little bit like really dark and intense. Do that with a little brush like this. Okay, and tuck in those cheeks. And just like go for it. And then I want to like pronounce my um, jawline, so I'm just going to do that. And then just make myself look like really tan. Okay, that's bronzer. Now if you want, you could go ahead and use this as a blush, but for me I like really, like really pink and blush cheeks. So I'm just going to do that with a very bright or dark one that matches like the bronzer or even brighter you can okay so I'm just gonna do that and just smile okay that's blush now we're gonna move on to highlight and highlight I just like to use like normal old glitter like just some loose glitter works the same I'm just gonna tap my finger in there, like that. Go along. I know this looks intense right now, but you're gonna be blending it in. See what I mean? It looks really, it looks like really glowy now. Okay, highlighter done. Time for concealer, and I'm actually just gonna conceal the little deadly things there. I'm just gonna splodge it on like that. And like, it dries up so you don't have to blend it. And I'm just do it on there too. And you know, just anywhere you have imperfections, it can look like heaps, heaps better. And what, this is my trick, if you want really nude lips, just get the concealer and use it as lip gloss or lipstick. Oh uh, yeah, see, it's so easy. So just keep packing on until you're happy. I like to get them like really nude. Okay, there we go. To define my lips a bit more, I'm just gonna go with another nude thing for my lips. So just a nude lip pencil. I'm just gonna go straight onto that. And I'll make my lips look really big and juicy, so I'm just gonna apply more. So that's a lip liner done. Some lipstick, I'm going for another nude thing because I'm just into nude right now. Just like, just blodge it on so it looks perfect for colour on your lips. Like that. Lastly, for more kabing, um, I'm just going to go with like this really metallic y shiny lip gloss. I'm just going to pack it on there to make my lips look like Kim Kardashian. And when you know you have a lot on, um, the right amount on, you just go, and if you see like the little strings there, that means you have enough, but right now I don't have enough on, so I'm just going to keep going. And we've achieved it. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. This is just a very fun video that I thought I'd do. I wouldn't go wearing this, and 
just so you know that I have not seen anyone like with this like exact like amount of makeup I just put it out each individual thing that peeves me off so like too much lip gloss on too much eyeshadow eyeliner just all that stuff into one face and it would look like this it's pretty scary so I'll see you next week guys bye love you